Yo guys, Ponchi here and today I wanted to quickly show you how to set up some outputs on your big six. Now there's a couple different things we're going to do today. We're going to set our outputs in Logic Pro and then we're going to set our outputs on Mac OS X so you're able to use your big six for things like um, you know watching videos or whatever it may be outside of Logic Pro. So first off right here, I have Logic pulled up. So you wanna to go to Preferences and go to Audio, okay? And then in here, of course, you'll have your output and input set to big six. And then IO assignments, this is the interesting part. So if, uh, if a couple of you were following my last video on the big six, um, you may have noticed um, that we Kind of had a little discussion about the outputs of of logic pro and how to set them and um this is just something that i want to clarify from my last video of of the big six so i mentioned that by default logic sets your stereo output on your well the stereo output of logic to channels one and two on the big six um, now this is a little different because the interesting thing is most interfaces setting them to one and two is not a big problem. However, on the big six, setting your outputs to one and two is kind of a problem in a way because it's taking up channels one and two, which are the super analog inputs of your big six. And if you were to stick with that, then you wouldn't be able to use um, channels one and two for recording, um, you know, which is amazing because not only do they have the full EQs, they have the compressors. So when you're tracking, you want to go ahead and set these to outputs 15 and 16. So again, someone brought this up on the last video about how you know, you can set your outputs to channels 15 and 16, so that way you can keep channels one and two free, so that way you can use them for tracking, for compressing, you know, the EQs and everything like that. So that's all fine and dandy. However, I noticed something today when I was summing um, this song that I have pulled up here, and the interesting thing about this and this is kind of just something you have to work with on the big six, um, which to me is not a problem whatsoever. Um, when you're summing, now keep in mind when you're summing, you have to essentially, you know, tra so tracking with the big six versus summing with the big six is completely different in the sense that when you're tracking, you may have, you know, the faders set up a certain way, you have the gain knob set up a certain way, you know, you might have your EQs set up a certain way, the compressors, etc. So when it comes to summing, you're essentially changing all of that. You know, you're changing your faders, you're changing the gain knobs. Um, well, the gain knobs are a little different depending how you have it set up. The, the gain knobs could, are essentially overridden um, when you're summing but uh, you know as far as the compressor and the EQ that stuff you know you're changing it completely when you start summing anyway when you're summing I noticed that if you have your stereo outputs here set to output 15 and 16 and then you go over here now keep in mind real quick this is not a tutorial on summing right now this is just summing I something I want to keep um, in mind. I want everyone to keep in mind when they're when they're choosing to set their outputs to channels 15 and 16 here. So when you come over here, um, essentially in a nutshell when you're summing you have to set these outputs over here you have to change them from the stereo out to the individual outputs on the big six that's how you sum because you're taking your audio from logic and then you're sending it through 
your big six and then you're sending that back into logic and so you know you're essentially take taking all the tracks from logic summing them through your big six and then taking the output of that back into logic so you can print your mix if you've heard that term so again real quick um not trying to make a full tutorial here on summing but if you set right here you'll see i have my bass and my guitar bus set to outputs one and two so if you have this set to outputs 15 and 16 you will not get any audio coming through outputs one and two now i know that's weird and keep in mind if anyone has a fix for this please let me know this is one thing I've noticed um, that no one really talks about on the big six for whatever reason. You know, I mean, I get that it's it's kind of an expensive unit. Not everyone has one. You know, it's not as popular. So I haven't found really very much anything about this, especially in video form. So again, if you have these outputs set to 15 and 16 right here, your stereo output, you will not receive any audio in your big six when you go to start summing. So my bass and my guitar bus here, I want to be in channels one and two, which are the first two channels on the big six. I don't get any audio out of here. So what you have to do is you do essentially have to go back to what outputs one and two which is the default outputs. And then once you do that and you start to play, you know, you hit play, you will get the audio going to channels one and two, outputs one and two here. Now, again, if someone has a fix for this, definitely let me know, but this is the only fix that I have so far in order to make this work. To me, that's not a problem because like I said, when you're tracking, you know, outputs 15 and 16 are just the the external uh, inputs um, on the on the big six. You know, there's no fader, there's no EQs. You know, nothing like that for outputs uh, 15 and 16. So, to me, that's fine when I'm tracking because then that way I can use you know all the other inputs for tracking, and that way I have the first four. Uh, mono inputs which are the only ones that have the compressor and the full EQ and all of that so it, it works for me that way but when it comes to summing again you got to go back to outputs one and two here and then of course come down here and you'll you'll notice right here I have all my outputs set to um, well I'll just ignore this master one for now because that's where my printed mix is but right here, I have all the tracks in my um, on my Logic project here set to go to the big six. So I guess real quick, just to outline it, I have the bass going to output one, the guitar bus going to output two, um, and I just want those in mono, which is why they're just mono tracks. I have the vocals going to output three, again, mono track. I have my drum bus going to outputs five and six because I want that to be a stereo track. And then I have the output of my uh, Capital Chambers plugin here going to out, uh, outputs nine and 10, stereo channel, because I want the reverb to be stereo. And then I have the output of my delay, my uh, Galaxy Tape Echo here going to output seven and eight again I want that to be a stereo delay so so that's essentially how I have everything set up and again just to reiterate my point if you have this set to outputs 15 and 16 you will not get anything coming into channels one and two when you have these set right here so that's uh, what I've come up with for now you know, I've tried keeping it on output 15 and 16 and, uh, you know, changing the monitoring on the actual big six, but nothing seems to work in terms of getting anything to come through outputs one and two when I have this set, the stereo output set to 15 and 16. 
So again, you have to go back to outputs one and two for that. And I know that's kind of counterintuitive. Come check this out real quick. You'll notice here that when I set the outputs one and two, you'll notice that it says part of stereo output. And keep in mind, it still says that even when I have the, out, the stereo output here set to 15 and 16. So again, right here, 15 and 16. And then you come down here and try to set this to output one in the mono section here, because obviously I don't want it to be the stereo output. Um, you'll notice it still says part of stereo output. But in reality, my stereo output, as you can see, is set to 15 and 16. So the first one that says part of stereo output, that is channel one, output one. So, and then of course, uh, over here on output two, it'll say the exact same thing, except I have it set to the second one. So definitely something very interesting. I think that's how, I think that's just one of the things you'll have to deal with when using the big six with logic. It might be different on some other DAWs. I haven't tested it yet. I do have Ableton that I can try and test it on. But uh, as far as using logic, that's just something I think we're going to have to live with, again, unless someone else has a solution to that. But uh, either way, um, I definitely like this idea for, for tracking. So that way you have all your other channels. But as far as summing goes, you got to set it back to one and two. So. Then one under one, excuse me. One other thing I want to show you guys, real quick, is how to set your outputs um, for Mac OS X when you have the Big Six plugged in and turned on. So you'll notice up here, go to Sound. I have it set to Big Six, and then come over here to the Launch Pad. Um, the way to change the outputs um, again last video I mentioned by default Mac OS X defaults to channels one and two so if you're using your big six to listen to your computer audio that is going to come out of channels one and two on the big six so if you want to change that someone graciously mentioned in the comments that you can indeed change this you go to sorry I forgot to mention here go to audio MIDI setup and that's located in the other folder in your applications folder so other audio MIDI setup go over here choose your big six and then go to configure speakers and you will notice right here you have speaker left and right and you have every single channel on your big six here channels 1 through 16 so you can set these to whatever you want but keeping with the uh, convention that we just used in Logic, might as well change them to channels 15 and 16. And then that way you don't have to be uh, changing things around when you're, you know, if you're tracking and say you switch to Safari or Chrome or whatever to listen to a YouTube video in between, in between tracking or something like that. This way you don't have to, uh, you know, press any buttons on the big six to change you don't have to change anything to listen to your computer audio. So then, of course, hit apply, hit done, get out of there, and you're good to go. So hope that helps you guys a little bit. If you have any questions down below, please feel free to ask them. And uh, if you have any comments about this, any suggestions, whatever it may be, leave those down below as well. And uh, I will be doing a lot more videos on the Big Six because you guys have shown some interest in it for sure. So I definitely want to do a summing video next to show how I sum with the Big Six. And uh, if you have any other requests for any kind of videos with the Big Six, definitely let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video.